All right, so the way I built this wall is I'm putting these studs in place. Um, instead of building them on the floor and I'm standing them up. So because I don't want this, um, I don't know if I put a screw in here and I screw it down at an angle, it's possible that by doing so, as I, as I put the screw through and I'm, you know, compacting it in tight, this piece of wood here will shift forward. So I find that a good trick to make sure that none of it moves is to first pre-drill all the way through. See? So I put it through the wood into the next beam so that the screw already has a place to go. And when it's being tightened, it's already being tightened in the place where it has to stay. So I find that to be a good trick, something to keep in mind. Uh, another thing is I'm planning to put a doorway here and the door is supposed to go all the way down to this beam here. Right, so that door is supposed to go down to the floor area. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to cut this out from here to there, probably. I'm gonna have to see how, you know, how the floor itself, how the floorboard fits on. It could be that I'll keep this where it is. Regardless, um, instead of first cutting it, first cutting it, putting it in, then putting up these uh, studs, I decided to put down a full length, full length piece and put the studs in. And then afterwards, if I need to cut it, um, to just cut downward and slide this, this piece out, this footer here. And doing so causes everything to be even and uniform in place. Uh, it's just a much smarter way, in my opinion, to do this. All right, so because I created this wall, instead of framing it and then standing the frame up, I, I just put the studs in place. I already had a um, an outer frame, so to speak, to build within from the from the screen that was here beforehand. See it around the sides. So there's a, there's a gap above the wood. You can see, so I, I cut a pressure treated two by four and I'm gonna be sliding it in into place and using that as to complete this gap. You can see above every piece, there's a gap from the top of the piece to the ceiling. This actually fits nice and snug to the point where I have to actually hammer it in place. Slow, gently, not to damage anything. I'm gonna do that and um, so it'll be nice and snug against the ceiling, against the stucco on the ceiling. And of course it's pressure treated to prevent any moisture seeping down. Um, and that'll solve this problem. So here I'm cutting out this piece, this footer. Now that I've, in, I've completed the wall pretty much other than the Tyvek wrap and I am gonna put a header on top of the doorway uh, shortly, but I'm ready to, I'm purposely cutting out the footer now that it's all in place because um, I wanna make sure the measurement's correct for the doorway and I want for it to be more accurate. I want this to be out of the way. Uh, again, I caulked behind the plywood where the plywood connects to the two by six in between on the back end so that, again, no cold air or hot air will come in during the alternate weather. Just an extra level of sealant, of insulation sealant. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous to put all kind of insulation in the middle but then you leave cracks and holes all through the sides. So for the extra four bucks, it's just worth it, in my opinion. Right there, you could see some oozed out. Um, okay, to be continued. <laughs> No rush, 
it's not that big of a piece of wood better to do it right and smooth than to pay a price later <laughs> against the side of the this door so it's perfect cut <laughs> uh, I can see it touching the inside over here so it looks like it's done and there we go came right off not kind of easy Again, nice and smooth on that side, and nice and smooth on this side, perfect cut. In order to create the header for this door here, I marked the spot on both sides um, about a quarter inch above this, the size of the actual door frame. Um, and we're gonna cut out pieces to to put the header on top, just like we did on this side here. Uh, it's important that the header sit on a beam and not in the doorway, meaning it's, it's actually gonna sit on top of this beam here. Um, and there, that doing so gives it support. If it would be on the side of the beam, like right here, as if I wouldn't be cutting this off. Then, if any weight compresses from the top, it would just crack the doorway. Uh, this is the correct way to do it. Uh, so, I use a. Uh, yeah, first, I marked it. And then I used this uh, oscillating saw and just went back and forth until piece pops right out just like there I went ahead and put a header up over here today for this doorway this is just a extra piece of plywood on top of the two by sixes that are going across so you got all these two by sixes three of them plus I have two pieces of half inch plywood which ends up being a perfect fit uh for the header it's very it's uh, makes a smooth fit so i had to add those two pieces of plywood in to the header and on top i got a got a two by six across the top and i just i just stuffed some plywood in the center and you can see some damage there it's because i knocked it in real tight i don't even need a screw or anything it's just real snug which is perfect um, so that, that's, uh, that's a very nice, nice header. Do need to add the plywood on the outside. And that's to be continued. All right, we put on the uh, missing piece of plywood here. So the next step is the typhic wrap. Well, there you have it. 
are ready. We're ready to put the door on. Um, in this particular case, because I haven't made, I was supposed to create a, um, supposed to bring the floor out with cement and stone all the way to the outer wall. You can see there's about it, two inches missing here. So I'm supposed to create the underlayment, I guess. So we're gonna have to do that before we put the door in permanently, but I'm probably just gonna put it up for the winter uh, over here and then, uh, but not secure it, just put it in place. One or two screws to hold it there. And then in the spring when I create this underlayment, put it in permanently. Or if I see a warm day, then I'll put the uh, underlayment in, you know, something where the door is supposed to sit on on the bottom and the bottom part of the wall or we're going to build the exterior uh, on top of you can see I already started it right over here but uh, it has to obviously it has to go underneath and all the way up to the level of the door